Hello everyone, welcome to another video and let's get into it. So phones are getting so crazy these days. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will have a faster CPU, faster GPU, faster RAM and faster storage. The phone may look the same from the outside but from the inside it's getting some significant upgrades and there's one more upgrade. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will also have a Wi-Fi 7 support. Let me explain you why this is a big deal and how it will improve our user experience. Right now the Wi-Fi standard that we use is Wi-Fi 6E and while it's good but the Wi-Fi 7 takes things to a whole new level first it offers 2.4x faster speeds than Wi-Fi 6 with the same number of antennas it also offers the world's lowest latency which will be great for gaming Qualcomm also insists the power consumption is less by as much as 50% which will improve the battery life considerably also you would have already noticed that your current router offers two frequency bands that 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. The latter is not to be confused with the 5G mobile networks. Wi-Fi 7 routers will also offer a 6 GHz band which should unlock the scope of better bandwidth delivery for devices that support it with less interference. On top of that you will no longer need to select a device to be on 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz as the router will simply pick the channel that has the least congestion and send the data down that path. Wi-Fi 7 will directly improve the user experience by quite a margin it's also worth mentioning that you need a router that supports Wi-Fi 7 to take advantage of these improvements the frame of the Galaxy S23 Ultra will be flatter this time and today we have a first ever real picture of the S23 Ultra's frame to show this change the difference is quite significant compared to the S22 Ultra this also implies the screen will be less curved which is good or bad depending on what person using the phone and next we have a screenshot from the Galaxy S23 Ultra's default camera basically confirming that there will be two options to take high resolution photos a 200 megapixel mode and a 50 megapixel mode the size of photo with 200 mode will be massive so if you still want to take high resolution photos without taking a hit at the storage 50 megapixels mode will be your best choice and by the way the leaked cropped camera sample of the S23 Ultra clearly shows that the 200 megapixels mode isn't just a marketing gimmick you will actually notice a difference and i'll see you on the next video peace out